everyone, my name is Katya. I'm Lera. Before we start, as usual, I want to remind you that we create trips for foreigners to different Russian cities and if it is interesting for you, you are welcome to our Instagram, BK and Facebook accounts. All the links, as usual, will be under this video. May and June is the most difficult time for students from all over the world because of the exams. Some students learn everything and try to pass everything by themselves, some of them cheat and some of them just hope for luck. But nevertheless, all the students have just one aim – to pass the exams. And today we want to tell you about some special rituals which Russian students perform before the exams. Let's start! And first of all, we should tell you about the system of the examination in Russian universities. As Russian students, we pass exams twice a year – in December, January and in May, June. We don't write tests, but we prepare the answers for all the topics which we have been learning during the semester. Before the exam, each teacher prepares a list of questions which students will have during the exam. We have some days to find all the answers for these questions and to learn them. At first sight, it looks very simple. You have got questions, you have got time, you can prepare and that's all. But everything is not so easy. Firstly, usually we have for about 20, 50, 70 questions just for one subject and during one semester we can have 7, 10, 12 or even more subjects. And secondly, for each question we can't answer just yes or no or to tell just some sentences. Can you explain photosynthesis? Yes. Great. We have to prepare a full answer. For example, I study philology and one question can be like to tell about the system of phonetic in Russian language or to tell about the Homer's creativity. For example. For example, yeah. So everything is not so simple. And now I will tell about the exam. Each student takes a ticket. It's a paper with two or three questions from the common list. <laughs> Можно еще? Пожалуйста. Еще. Бери. And after that he sits down and writes everything he remembers about this question. After that he sits in front of the teacher or a few teachers and answers them and then the teacher gives him some additional questions. To be honest it's a little bit nervous process because... It's very nervous process. It's a very nervous process, yes, because Russian students never have enough time to prepare all the answers, to learn everything and we're always afraid that we will take this ticket which we didn't learn or that we will not be able to answer additional questions and other problems and that's why some I think very cool Russian students imagine some rituals which as we hope help us to pass all our exams and now we will tell you about them. The first ritual which is one of the most famous among Russian students is Халява приди or freebie comes to me in English. So at night before the exam you should take your student's book where the teacher will put you a mark Put your hand out the window and shout Халява приди for three times. It should help, of course, and so after that you may go to sleep and be sure that you will definitely pass the exam tomorrow. If you still worry, you can take all the books and notes about this subject which you will pass tomorrow and you should put it under the pillow. So, during the night all the information from these books and notes will soak to your head and in the morning, even if you didn't learn anything, the information will be already in your head. And that's why you can't wash your hair before the exam. It doesn't matter if you prepared by yourself or you just slept with a book under your pillow, all the information is already in your head and if you will wash it, you will delete all the information and you will not remember any answers on the exam. So, be careful with it and wash your hair before the preparation, not before the exam. And in the morning, it's really important to choose your clothes, which you will wear to your, for your exam, very carefully. So, now you should stand up, switch on your mind like Sherlock, like this. <laughs> I need to go to my mind palace. The what? 
and you have to remember which clothes did you wear at your exam which you passed well so i'm sure it's your lucky clothes so take it once again wear on yourself on your i don't know and go to pass your exam it's sure you will pass it because you're in your lucky clothes come on by the way don't forget to take your pen which you used during the preparation and learning it should remember everything you wrote so during the exam it will help you to write the correct answers so now we have already put and saved all our information in our head and now it's time to work on our mark for the exam in russia we've got a five point grading system and five is the best mark so that's why you should find a coin of five rubles and put it in your left boot but don't forget to enter the class with your left leg first and it will help you to get an excellent mark and while you are going to your exam you should look around carefully because if you will meet a policeman or a homeless person it means that you will be unlucky in your, during your exam today because maybe the teacher will be strict with you or maybe you will take this ticket which you didn't learn or something else so if you know where policemen work or where homeless people live you have to avoid these places but if you met a pregnant woman you should be happy because it means good luck for you you should go to this woman and ask her a number perhaps it will be a number of your ticket so it's better to repeat the answer of the question with this number and the last thing don't go to the class first let the most clever person from your class go before everyone and he will pass the exam of course he will have an excellent mark because he's the best student of your class and after that you should touch his hand or shoulder or touch whatever you want because like this you will get an energy of luck and knowledge <laughs> So, when all the rituals are performed, you may go to the class with your left leg first, don't forget about it, and be sure that everything today is special for you. The freebie is already in your class, all the information is in your head, and your excellent mark is in your left boot. So, just relax and enjoy the exam. Of course you understand that we are joking, it doesn't work like this. Even Russian students know about all these rituals, we prefer, not always, sometimes, to learn everything and to pass uh, our exams by ourselves and to rely on ourselves. So, we we'll wish you good luck with your exams. Don't cheat and work hard. Bye-bye. Пока. Все отлично, я в душе. Голову будешь мыть? Нет, конечно, у меня экзамен завтра. А, хорошо. Так, надо, кстати, еще не забыть тетрадки достать из-под подушки, ручку взять. Ладно, я хочу в магазин сходить. Можно твою белую кофту взять, пожалуйста? Нет, это моя счастливая кофта, я мне уже 4 года экзамена сдаю. А, ладно, тогда возьми монетку, она у меня около кровати лежит, как обычно. Положи в ботинок. Ладно, еще сейчас к соседке подойду. Зачем? Да. Номер билета у нее спрошу, она же беременна. А, ладно, и при мне отпроси, пожалуйста. Хорошо. Все, давай, удачи.